purpose of this video is to document what I've done today in my endeavor to try to understand e-wallet and cloud syncing, okay? I'll start by opening Finder. Let's go to Dropbox. Okay, see, we're in the Dropbox folder. And I'm going to click, I'm going to open the Apps folder. Okay, there's a folder called eWallet Sync Pro. I'm going to open it. It has two files. This one is the important one. This supposedly is the file that an iOS device that has the eWallet app on it would sync with. Okay? So if I open my e if I if I look in my iPhone and I open eWallet and I see the file the wallet called sync syncing WLT and I open that wallet when that wallet is open if I click sync it will use cloud syncing and it will use this file to to sync the version of the wallet called syncing WLT which is on my iPhone it with the cloud it will sync it with the cloud so there's actually a copy of the of of the wallet file okay it's not this file because this is a cwlt not a wlt okay all right i hope this made sense okay now from what i understand okay the version of e-wallet that I have on my iPhone is version 8.0.2. The version of e-wallet on my desktop, let me just open it here. Okay. Now, that version is this one it's 7.4.4 this version okay let me try to open this okay this version let me shrink it does not have anything for syncing with the cloud okay all it has is like this set up the location but if you try to add a location it can only sync with the iphone iPad, iPod, or another computer. It can't sync with the cloud at all. Okay? So, until they come out with a version of the desktop e-wallet app, which can sync with the cloud, I will not be able to sync it with uh, the this right here this using this file which is in Dropbox okay this file was created when I used my iPhone and I told it to set up Dropbox and then I I create I told it to create a new wallet and then when I created this new wallet called syncing WLT I told it that I want this to sync with the cloud. And when I told it that that's what I want, it created this file over here in Dropbox. And it actually, not only did it create this file in Dropbox, it actually created the apps forward slash eWallet sync pro folder, the whole thing. It created two folders in Dropbox just to store this file which it uses for syncing 
e-wallet okay which it uses for syncing any file with this name without this extension okay with any ios device okay notice i said ios device because as i said the desktop version cannot sync with the cloud okay this is what i know as of today also while doing all of this i had actually created another um let me go back to dropbox see i created this thing right here where is it yeah right here i actually don't need this anymore okay let me just delete it because i found out that that the ios e-wallet would actually create a dropbox folder for syncing so i didn't have to need to create one myself so let me delete this move to the trash okay so the e-wallet cloud syncing uses files which are in this folder the dropbox apps e-wallet sync pro folder okay and when you create a new wallet on an ios device and you tell it you want to use cloud syncing and you select dropbox as your cloud then it will automatically create a c a dot cwlt file for that wallet which you created okay